What's going on guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with Corey from Fitment Industries. So he's a car guy. I'm the truck dude. We're about to review 10 trucks from the gallery. So we picked 10 this time. We're going through them really fast. Give them a number one through 10, 10 being really good, one being not so good. And then uh, a brief explanation why, but we're going to try to rush through these and get as many trucks showcased as possible because you guys send in your trucks to be reviewed uh, from the gallery. So if you want yours in, add it at customoffsets.com forward slash add. We'll get you on the list. Ready to go? I am. Here we go. 2016 Ram 1500. Got some sort of Tiffany blue going on here. Hated. Interesting. Stretched Nitto 420s. Looks like 305 50s on 20 by 14 negative 76 offset. It's got a matching little uh, power wheels. Do you think he tried wrapping the whole thing? I don't know. Like maybe it got difficult. Like the bumpers were too hard. Or maybe he got in an accident and needed new bumpers, but then that Locally doesn't explain hated. the roof either. Right, or this little pillar here. Uh, missing an emblem. Okay, got a number. Yeah. Three, two, one, seven. Five. Wow, lower than I expected. I went seven because if he finished it, I would probably give it a higher score. Um, obviously, it just looks kind of not done, but maybe he did that on purpose. I'm not really sure. Not a big fan of stretch tires, but I like the look of this truck low and wide. Not a huge fan of stretch tires, just like you said, and the wrap looks like it's about half done, so I rated it about half. Pretty simple. It's a little more than half, it's like three quarters. 2017 Chevy Silverado, 2500 HD, sitting on some specialty Fords, the 009s, 26 by 16, negative 103 offset, 40 inch fuels, 12 inches of lift. Can you just give me some pictures? Yeah, I can give you some pictures. Ooh. Got, uh, got a ton of rock lights on there. He took it into the dirt one time. Double light bars up front, double cubes. Of course he has double light bars. He goes off-roading. Yes. And he's got a 15-inch drop hitch. <laughs> Wonder if he uses it, though. Okay, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, Ten. eight. Ten. Yeah. That's slap. <laughs> you learned a new word, now you're using yes, it. Yes, I did. One with eight. I mean, overall, really clean, but uh, essentially fairly basic when it comes down to it. Like, he's got bumpers, some wheels, tires, a lift. Could use other stuff as well. If I bought a truck to tow my car, that's what it would look like. Maybe, or well, maybe he does have more. I don't know. We can only do it really fast, so sorry. What is this? A 2006 Nissan Titan on Fuel Mavericks, 20 by 14s, Falcon Wild Peak, uh, AT3Ws, 35s. Yeah, it's very aggressive. That's an NFAB. Another locally hated in the American why Force font. Why are you all locally hated? That's Why not nationally? Uh, apparently. Rough Country Lift. It's got some uh, like powder coat and paint things going on here. I like the cohesion. Cohesion. Looks like he's got some taillights. Blah, 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 blah. Inch and a quarter front wheel spacers. Not sure why. Going for a pre-runner look. Okay, ready? God, I really don't know. I got a number. Yeah. Three, two, one, six. six. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I like that he did something with a Nissan Titan, and most people don't. Yeah. But it's just not quite, uh, I'm not really, there's a lot going on. Yeah, see, I like what he has going on with the truck, but not so much with the tires, because it looks like he went for the super aggressive pre runner style like you were talking about. But then stretch tires, tires, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Wild Peak AT3 is, a, like, not that aggressive of a tire. It's a little bit aggressive, but more for on-road use. Hmm. Also confused by spaces up front. O3 F350 Super Duty with a lot done. Uh, 38 inch trail blade boss tires, which are actually the same tires that are right there. Six inch super lift suspension, iron cross bumper, possible. Banker, I'm a truck guy for the day. No, he's not, he's a car guy. <laughs> uh, possible bed liner or Plasti Dip bottom half there, below the body line. Maybe he has the details. I no. hope it's Plasti Dip because Plasti Dip's great. I'm not allowed to talk about Plasti Dip anymore. If you've seen that video. Uh, he has recon taillights and stuff, which is cool. We sell those, that's nice. Okay, got a number? Yeah. Three, two, one, Seven. four. Seven? Yeah. I went with a four because uh, it just seems like the front bumper just doesn't go with the rest of it. The grill is too much for me and I'm not a huge fan of the headlights, but I like that he did paint match mirrors. However, they're from the wrong generation of truck. And I like when people keep them in the correct generation. I just like the general yee yee theme he has going throughout the whole truck. I'm it sure seems... he will love that you said that. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks like a very wholesome, down in the country truck. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah. Like Corey's from the suburbs of Chicago. Yes. 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500, uh, grid off road GF4, 24 by 14, negative 77. I don't know if that's correct. No trail grapplers and 12 inch bulletproof suspension lift, no spacers, no rub, no trim, because he's got a bumper on it that's massive. 
It's got some uh, halfway decent photos in here, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm Number? Yep. Three, two, one, eight. Eleven. Eleven? I gave the last one a ton and it wasn't nearly as done up as this one, so it just wouldn't have been right to give this one a ton as well. All right. With the front bumper on here, literally my biggest complaint is just that the tires look too narrow when you have a bumper like that when it's lifted so high. But I mean, the truck's really nice. Like, I can't. Yeah, but on some 38s, can't can you go even wrong. complain that it's not wide enough? Because well, that is just a massive wheel all around. Could go wider. All could around. go 15 and a half instead of 13 all and a half. Corey. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I kind of like this. <laughs> 2017 F-150, Motor Metal 962s, the wheel that everybody has. Uh, 24 by 14, some amp mud terrain attack MTs, 35 by 13 and a half on a six inch rough country. That light bar is rowdy. I like that light bar. Side exit exhaust, give me some of that. Ran over a dinosaur one time. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you rated it so high. I love the like off-road, rugged look that he's got going on here. However, he has really small sidewalls because he's got 24s and 35s. He should do this with like, mm, ooh, some Method NVs. You could still do like a 20 by 12, run your 35s, have a little bit bigger sidewall, still keep a little bit show truck look, a little bit off-road look. Yeah, I think I'm going down to an eight. I didn't realize that he had those tiny tires. Mm. Sorry. Please don't hate me. The good news is you'll just never be back. Damn. Email Mario at Fitman Industries with any con comments, concerns, <laughs> or complaints. He's going to be so mad. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. Uh, 2003 Dodge Ram 1500. DWG Off-Road, which is actually now Hard Rock Off-Road. So these are the Hard Rock Crusher 20 by 12, negative 44 on some uh, Kanadi Mud Hogs. Oh, boy. He mud hogs. <laughs> yes, he does. Racing strips on the back and not on the yeah, front. Yeah, just the back. Wait. No, oh, they're on no, the front, too. Front. Yeah. Plat. Uh, it's a rubber sprayable coating grill, looks like. Got a light bar kind of hanging down there. Some smoked headlights, smoked taillights, black label lighting like sticker. Exhaust. Straight out the back. That's the way to go. A little bit of mall crawl, a little bit of mud hole. Number? Where are you seeing mud? Or I, mean, he's, uh, I don't know, he's, he's on the street. There's a, there's a parking meter. Just leave me alone, okay? All right. Uh, three, two, one, four. 7.25. That's such a specific number. Yeah. I went with a four because I personally have something against Dodges, and I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of the way that they look. I like that he actually uses his truck. It has good stance. I love that he supports us and wraps his custom offset sticker. The stripes on it are a little bit weird for me, and there's overall too many stickers in my opinion. I love the stripes because I had a 95 Chevy 2500 as my first car, and the first mod I did was throw some racing stripes on there. So 100% of those things are cool, and I love that you mod it. Can't really go wrong there. Is that Thimble Line sticker? I'll give him some bonus points for that. 2007 Toyota Tundra. Sign it for Dale. <clears throat> Do it for Dale. He's got the Dale Earnhardt wheels on her. 18 by nine, plus 12. Fire Max tires, four inch ready lift. That's Massive really mad in the front. front bumper. Super angry. He's got the, he's got the angry eyebrows. Yeah. The teenage angst SRT4, <laughs> Dodge Neon, stick on yep. eyebrows, but yep. The Toyota Tundra edition. Uh, I don't Matches know what's going on exactly nice with the, though. it does actually, with the, with the grill lettering there, but uh, okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, Five. six. I just think it could be improved and the tires look too skinny for how aggressive the front end is. Very angry. Do like the angry theme going on. Also, he's got a straight liper up top, but then LED circles throwing me off a little bit there. Yeah. He's got spiked uh, things on the fender flares. Going for a very angry theme, and I just don't think the wheels and tires match. Yeah. Yeah. 2005 F-150 TAS 544C. I love those wheels. Yeah, super popular. Amp tires, six inch, yeah, rough country, lift. Likes them. And I think you and everyone else. It's from mm -hmm. Missouri. 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 Okay, I'm ready for this. Mm, yeah, same. Three, two, one, eight and a half. Had to go with that half just to bump up a little bit. Um, for an 05 Ford, this thing is clean. Yeah. This is really clean. And like, either he got new headlights or did a really job restoring these That's ones. Just some like, toothpaste on it. clear lenses, <laughs> clear lenses on the fogs. Like, everything looks really nice. He's got it all shined up for the photos. I think the chrome wheels go great with this like two-tone color scheme that's going on, even though there's not a lot of other chrome on the truck, just really the grill and just the handles. Just really makes the, how clean it is pop. Yeah. 05 Hummer H2. Oh, the H2T. So what is the difference between the 544V and the 544C? 
Ah, surprise, glad you asked. So the 544V was uh, made as a PVD, which is like a powder coat chrome finish. The 544C is now a true chrome finish. So they switched and they're not making PVD anymore, they're making true chrome. Hmm. Fun fact of the day. Cool. TS 544V, 24 by 14s, 37 inch RBP tires on a three inch, uh, it's like a level lift, Bielstein shocks. Light bar down by the front cross member area, but just really wheels in the level yeah, I'm good with that. lift. I like that. Oh man. Okay. Three, two, one, Nine six. Why? If I was a drug dealer, that would be the first car I would buy. You are a drug dealer. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> 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 On that note, I think we can end it. That's another episode of From the Gallery. If you want your vehicle featured, add it at customoffsets.com forward slash add. And if you don't know what the gallery is, that's what we use and what you can use to figure out fitment on your vehicle. So you can see exactly what fits right down to rubbing, trimming, suspension details, and all that stuff. So if you don't have wheels yet and you're looking to pick up a set, figure out what fits at customoffsets.com forward slash gallery. That's how you're going to figure that out. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're Custom Offsets. We do everything wheels, tires, suspension. This is Corey. He's not a drug dealer. It was a joke. Peace. <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope your mom doesn't watch this. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs>